So we've reminded ourselves of how to complete the square. So in doing that, we've then been able to identify the vertex of a parabola. So now what we want to do is introduce translations formally. And the best way to do that is to do so first by an example. So let's have a look at the graph of y is equal to x minus 2 squared take away 6. So what I've done is I have already put it into completed square form. And so we're able to write down the coordinates of the vertex. The coordinates of the vertex for this would be 2 minus 6. OK, so the number inside the bracket changes sign and the number outside the bracket remains the same. So let's sketch this curve. So 2 minus 6. So 2 minus 6 would be somewhere down here. OK. Now the parabola will look something like this, okay? And we can say uh, where it crosses the y-axis, if you like. That would be when x is 0. So we have 0 take away 2 squared. So that would just be uh, 4 take away 6 would be minus 2, okay? So just to get a little bit of scale in there, I know my uh, curve isn't <laughs> perfectly accurate, but we don't need to know that at the moment. We don't need to work with that at the moment. So what I want to compare this to is the curve y is equal to x squared. Now y is equal to x squared is has its vertex at the origin. Okay? And would look something like this. Now y is equal to x squared and y is equal to x minus 2 squared take away 6 actually have exactly the same shape. Now, I know that when I'm sketching it, I cannot draw them both in exactly the same way. But effectively, what has happened is that I could pick up y is equal to x squared, and then I could just move it across the page and then sit it perfectly onto the black curve, okay? So in actual fact, these are both exactly the same shape and curve. And so because I can do that moving of the curve from one to the other, we can say that effectively what's happened is that I have picked up and moved y is equal to x squared so that its vertex now sits not at 0, 0, but at 2 minus 6. And so effectively the curve has travelled 2 in the x direction and minus 6 in the y direction. We can say that it has been translated by a vector 2 minus 6. Okay, so formally we would say that y is equal to x squared is translated by the vector 2 minus 6. And when it has done that, its image, as we refer to it, is y is equal to x minus 2 squared take away 6. OK? This equation of the black curve. So when we translate a curve, we say that its image is the one that it has been put onto, if you will, okay? So where it has moved to. So effectively, we are now able to translate y is equal to x squared by any vector we like, okay? so. To take it in even an even more general direction, if y equals x squared is translated by the vector ab, 
the equation of the image is y is equal to x minus a squared plus b. Okay, so as you can see, the a changes sign, the b stays the same. Much in the same way as we could write down the coordinates of the vertex. But if y is equal to x squared is translated by the vector a, b, the equation of the image is y is equal to x minus a squared plus b. And we can use this idea to describe the transformation of many different curves now. And I'm going to show you an example of this in the next video.